I'm Dr. Janine Krause and today I'm going to demonstrate what acupuncture is like in my office. So here I've got a lovely gal that's going to demo this for me. So I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol, so that is on my cotton ball here, just to clean off the surface area. This gal has some pain on her left shoulder, she was sleeping wrong, her neck was kinked a little bit. So acupuncture needles, I've got 10 in my little pack here. And so I like to use this because it's less waste. And so here is an acupuncture needle. A lot of people are afraid of these guys. And you can see, you can barely see it. There it is coming across. It's hair thin. And so I use something called a guide tube, this plastic tube here to insert the needle into and to place into the body. And so here we go. I'm going to put this needle into her muscle because that's what's hurting. And so found that knot, that's what I'm going for. I am big into working with the knots, also with your traditional acupuncture points. But in this case, I've got the needle right there going into that muscle. And oftentimes I will move the needle around till I get a jump in the muscle. And I like that because if the muscle jumps, then that means it's gonna relax a little better for me. And so it's kind of cheater acupuncture. And then once I get that jump, sometimes I'll stimulate that muscle a little bit more to get things going. So let me show you a couple more needles here. I'm gonna take this one out, put it into my guide tube right here. This point in particular is right into the trapezius and if I go a little bit deeper it's into supraspinatus so if you're a muscle geek you know those ones. I'm going to work to relax her shoulder. Now the other side of this is that I'm going to put some needles into her neck and in that case a lot of people freak out because they're going oh my gosh my neck I have vessels and things of that nature. Well the good news is is that in the back side of your neck there's not all those big vessels like here, the carotids and the jugulars. So it's a little bit easier for me, but also this is where we have knots. And so I'm gonna show you how that looks. Right here, usually right about C3, C5, somewhere in between there, we've got some knots, just depending on the person. In this case, Melissa, my lovely demo model here, has a one right at C5. And so there's that needle there. So you can see I've got three needles in there, or maybe you can't see, it's a little bit hard to tell. Those guys sit there and they relax. And so typically I'm going to put in more of the traditional points for allowing blood flow to move in the body. And then from there, I will go around and work other parts of the body to see how we can get her shoulder to relax. The other big thing is that I love to use gua sha and cupping, and I'm gonna show you that in later videos, so stay tuned.